Good evening, sisters and brothers. So grateful that we are able to be together this night for our Thursday evening prayer service. You are welcome to follow along using the props on the screen. Together, we join for evening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Turn us again, O God, of our salvation, that the light of your face may shine on us. May your justice shine like the sun, and may the poor be lifted up. Joyous light of glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. As an offering to you, 
All praise to the God of all, Creator of life. All praise be to Christ and the Spirit of love. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. A reading from Jeremiah. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. See how they say to me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come. But I have not run away from being a shepherd in your service, nor have I desired the fatal day. You know what came from my lips. It was before your face. Do not become a terror to me. For you are my refuge on the day of disaster. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How desperately we need healing. The world needs healing. In a time where it seems like perhaps we're not listening or we're not making the right choices or even if we are, we see the, the pain and the illness that the world is facing all around us. Maybe you see it in your own heart. Maybe you see it in your own life. Maybe you see it in, in, in and around the lives of those for whom you care. Maybe you just see it in the public. But we see how deeply wounded the world is. How deeply wounded we are. How we are afflicted with this condition of sin. And how it has become so bad that we wonder if God has become a terror. Much like Jeremiah once wondered. How he cried out to the Lord, do not become a terror to me. You are my refuge on the day of disaster. And today, or these last few months, really, we see so much in the way of disaster. We see death, we see pain, we see suffering. And we need the Lord. We need God to be who he promises to be, to be our refuge, to be the place of safety and safe keeping, to be the place of healing. And so, like Jeremiah, we cry out, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. And in crying out, we know the truth. We receive that truth. The Spirit reminds us of the truth that dwells in our hearts. That when it comes to healing and when it comes to salvation, God has already done what He promises. We have received Jesus. Jesus who comes down to be the great physician, the great healer, the one who can heal all ills, even that of the condition of sin. Jesus who comes to be the Savior, who comes to bring salvation, who dies so that sin is put to death and disease is put to death and evil is put to death and brokenness are put to death. All of those things are put to death. And instead, in his resurrection, he brings life. And he brings it to the fullest. That we can trust that healing and salvation truly dwells in him. And so in him, we may live out all the ways that he calls us to live out. To be ones who share in the healing. To, to give thanks for those who are leading and guiding in that healing in an earthly sense. Those doctors and the nurses and all those people who are called to care for us. To know that the only way they can heal is because God brings it and because God provides it. And through their hands, God is at work for us. Truly the healer. Truly the savior. Truly the one who does it. For us, his people, truly all found in Jesus. And so God is not a terror to us, but he remains our refuge. And he promises 
to deliver us. To deliver us from the day of disaster, to deliver us from these days and weeks and months of seeming disaster after disaster after disaster. And to be the one who in deliverance is our deliverer. To be the one who brings us out and unto himself. And so together we simply cling to his promises, trust in his healing, and know that we have received his salvation. Truly, as we've been celebrating all week for VBS, victory in Christ. We celebrate in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My soul rejoices, my spirit voices, sing the greatness of the Lord. For God my Savior has shown me favor, sing the greatness of the Lord. With praise and blessing, join in confessing, God who is so
from the Lord, great and abundant mercy. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, especially as we suffer through the pandemic of COVID-19, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings go. Thanks be to God.